Well, hello, uh, glorious people of the interwebs. And welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West. I just realized I had the stream alert set up for an hour after I was actually going to stream. So good job, Tag. Literally the world's worst YouTuber. Worst YouTuber in the world. Hashtag confirmed. Well, thank you guys for coming to join me on another lovely Outlaws of the Old West live stream. Hopefully we don't have any issues today like we did in the previous live stream. I think we should theoretically have everything under control. Hopefully. Hopefully. We will see. What's going on, Chris Culbertson, Justin Sabi, Dangle Wolf in the house. Human being, Eastside, Marvel Tales, Zip Zoop. Frankie Firefly, Alex, Octavius Arts, Human Being, Zelda Nerd, and Jason Eberhardt. We got a horse, baby. We got a horse. We are rich in the horse department for the first time in years. My butt is full of poop. Okay. Well, I feel like that's a personal problem. You should probably go take care of that. Man, he is building a big-ass house over there. Does he really need to build it, like, right in front of Valentine? Ah. <sighs> Jeez Louise. That shit's gonna cause so much lag. It's a big-ass house, though. It looks good, Kid Wicked. <laughs> I suggest you just quit with the poor performance. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. Uh, so we gotta buy a saddle here. There we go. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I believe we have enough stuff to... Uh, we need rope. I just put my rope away. Um, so I figured we'd upgrade our horse today, finally. And now that it's becoming daytime, I can lower the gamma. I turned up... I'm gonna be turning up the gamma at night so you guys can see a little bit better. And there we go. This game needs a swarm of bears. No. This game does not need a swarm of bears. Bears are already incredibly aggressive in this game. Somehow this pu isn't pulling anything up via Google. Can you use a boat to carry a ton of carcasses on it? What? No. Um, boats just end up sinking. Use a boat to carry a ton of carcasses on it? I'm, I have no idea. You're talking about for Red Dead Redemption? Um, you could try it, but I don't see the point. I'd probably end up just being a pain in the ass, honestly. Hello from East Wakanda. Well then, hello, dear. Good old mule deer bites the dust. We're gonna have to check out uh, Kid Wicked's big old house over there. Let's see here. Um, options. Not options. Yes, options is where we can turn down the gamma. Put the gamma down to its normal level. There we go. So it's daytime. Actually, that seems a little too dark now. Graphics. We'll do 2.5. I think that's actually where it's supposed to be. There we go. We got plenty of slots on our horse. We're going to be rebuilding Valentine today. We might even test out dueling. If we can get people uh, on the server to come to Valentine, maybe we'll have ourselves a little duel. I got to build stuff and decorate the interior of all the buildings and stuff. So we got a lot to do. Needs more trees so you can get treed. Please, no. <sighs> really liking all your videos, man. Do you play the story mode on the updated patches? The game really has not been downgraded. You know, people are just making a bunch of videos to bitch about something. It's what people do. Nowadays, the only thing that really gets views on YouTube is when you when you complain about stuff. And I can't tell the difference. And nobody else really can either. You can only tell the difference when you purposefully set... The t when you take screenshots of time of days that are drastically different. Um... And that's when it's really hard. It's almost impossible to tell the difference of ambient and occlusion. Um, unless the time of day is exactly 100% the same. The weather has to be the same. Everything literally has to be the same, which is impossible to do in Red Dead Redemption. Now, that's not to say there wasn't... Obviously, they did stuff for performance, and there might be a very slight, a slight change to ambient and occlusion, but I can't tell. And if you're actually playing the game instead of staring at shadows up close like this, nobody's going to tell either. So 
really the complaints are kind of ridiculous. Um, that's not to say that I don't understand why we needed to have any kind of performance changes to begin with. Um, but maybe it's coming for future updates that they plan on doing. I have no idea. But I can't... When you're actually playing the game, there's no way to tell. I can't tell. And I play the game a ton. So, and I pretty much predominantly play single player, so. Bam. I was kind of cleaning up the town a little bit. There we go. So, uh, in the last live stream, we kind of left off building out the stables here, and we're going to finish that today. There will be a GTI 5 stream later today. <clears throat> Let's see here. So, the stables on Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of come out this way. And we've got, like, uh, basically a little blacksmith in there. Hey, Bungless Massive. Welcome back, man. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. And I believe it's like a three by, so we're just going to do... Oh, shit, biscuits. I done messed it. I'm pretty sure Rockstar is going to prioritize online, because it's not lucrative to... To make single player DLC. That's not to say we won't get one, but we probably won't get one until online's not completely terrible. Unfortunately, they're so slow to update online that it's kind of ridiculous. Like, this game has been, I, I was explaining this yesterday, this game's been out for like a week or two now, and they've been doing updates every single day, and there's only like three people making this game. Rockstar's got a whole team, and they didn't update frickin' online for months, and it's still broke to shit. Like, even the most basic of things that are broken, like Stranger Missions, are still broken. It's ridiculous. All they're focusing on is making sure people can't play the game without actually spending real-life money. Cheesecake. Oh, the cheesecake. Hey, welcome back, Offleons. How you doing? Ugh. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so let's see here. I think this might be the same size. What I wanted to do is I want to put a... I really wanted to put, like, a windmill back here. I think it's a 3x3. Three three. It might be 4x4, four four, but I don't think we need to do it much larger than this. I'm kind of doing this from memory. We could pop on... You know what? Maybe we should just do that. Maybe we should just get onto. I'm just starting Red Dead Redemption so we can pop in back and forth and make sure we make everything right. Create some hot prostitutes in your saloon. Oh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> bam, bam, bam. Have I never beta tested a game? What do you call this? I'm literally beta testing this game. <laughs> I have beta tested probably more games than anybody uh, that will ever comment on this channel. Probably because I'm old as shit. I've alpha tested tons. Early access tons. Beta tested tons. And you don't put premium currency in a game that is in beta. Well, you do, but it's kind of a shitty thing to do. But their version of beta testing is absolute, like... I... I... <laughs> They shouldn't be using the excuse of beta testing anymore at this point. Especially when they update the game extremely rarely. I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous. The beta excuse is getting a little old at this point. It took them like three months to update the game. When you release it in the beta. Boop, there we go. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm debating actually kind of doing the flat roof at the top there. I know it's supposed to go to a point, technically, for it to be exactly like the one in Red Dead Redemption 2. I guess let's see what it looks like. Let's put the stairs up here so I can get up there. How old am I? I'm 30. Tommy Page. What's up, Tag and everyone? I'm celebrating my B-Day by watching a live stream. Hell yeah! Happy birthday, man! How old are you now? I can't sing the song because I'll get demonetized and sued because people are cucks. <clears throat> it's the new words for happy birthday. But happy birthday, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy the live stream. 
or beta testing was bare bones, never got updated, and then released a great game. Yeah, I mean, if what beta testing is done right, it's definitely like my issue is like, yeah, it's still in beta, and I always argue the fact that they didn't want to release it yet, and they were forced to release it. Uh, they were even forced to release Red Dead Redemption too, but at a certain point. You gotta start fighting back a little bit because of the... Like, if you... Especially with big companies nowadays. Like, things getting a little ridiculous. Usually with a beta, you want to see things improving. And, um... The steps they've been taking, literally, they're not fixing the game. They're just trying to figure out how to squeeze as much money out of people as possible with the... With the microtransactions. Because when you... What you want to see from a beta is improvements to the actual game. But most of these updates are just taking away glit... Like, uh ways of making money, not even glitches at this point. They've been obviously fixing glitches, but mo most of it's been just honestly getting rid of honest to good ways of making money and then forcing... Like you'd think, if this was a beta, the, the Stranger missions have been broken since release. If this was a beta, they would have fixed it. Like, they're focusing more on trying to squeeze money out of people than actually fixing the game. And that's the issue that I have, you know? If I was seeing things fixed and they were, you know, obviously making ways to make money strictly from stuff, like, I'd be perfectly fine with them pushing microtransactions if they were also focusing on making the game better at the same time. But it's just... I don't know. Uh, you, can get, you can get where I'm going with this, you know? There's been more of a focus on pushing microtransactions than there's been a focus on actually making the game playable. Like, what was this, released in mid late November? And Stranger Missions still don't work. That should have been priority number one. Like, a core gameplay mechanic doesn't still work. That looks really good, though. This roof. Looks very good. Me likey. Me likey a lot. And haven't kind of live streamed about Outlaws in a while. Can you just spin around and show me what you've done to the town real quick? We've got pretty much the majority of the main strip done. I've got to put windows in. Windows just are really, really expensive, but we are going to get that done today. Um, we got to get decorations placed. I was hoping people would kind of like pick the little buildings that they kind of wanted to like role play out of and kind of get it decorated, but I'll probably end up doing all the decorating because it's a shit ton of work. Um, let's see. Let's get this one building done. So we need that and we need iron bars. There we go. <clears throat> Why can't you sing happy birthday? It's because it's, uh, <laughs> you could Google it. And there's a whole, there's patent trolls out there and they just, well, not, I don't know if you would really call that a patent troll, but it's even still jokes on, um, on actual TV shows. Uh, I wanted to pull out this weapon. Can you please do that, please? Thank you. Thank you, game. You know what? We'd actually need to get into Red Dead Redemption right now. But we've got messages. We have also have to check our mail, too. I can do some decorating at some point. Also, what do you need for glass? Um, glass, I just need to make stuff at the, at the anvil. You just need to turn it into glass molds, and then you use the glass molds to make glass. But the glass molds don't get reused, so it's freaking insane. Um, but let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. What's the stomach growling sound? My character's hungry. There we go. Write a letter to your local congressman and tell him what Rockstar is doing in Red Dead Online. That would do absolutely nothing. The only people more corrupt than uh, than gaming companies nowadays is your congr your local congressman. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, and I don't really think gaming companies are that bad. But that would do literally nothing. All right, so I just need to know what kind of windows we have on the back, if any. I know there's a big exit on the back, so we could probably get away with doing this again. So one, two, buckle my shoe, three. Four. 
There's a your mom joke in here, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Make it two floors. Booyah, Kasha. What's going on, big bots? How you doing today, man? Glad to see you here as always. Boop. Mm, boop. And boop. There we go. Unfortunately, that's not going to get to go all the way to the top, but I guess we don't really need it to. Thank you, Podiatra. Leggy says hi. Hello, Leggy. <laughs> uh. I thought I was logged in already, but I guess not. I think I really did shut it off that time. I usually leave it on so I can do stuff like this without too much of an issue. I think... It's open, except for the back, if memory serves. Will you continue building after Valentine? Yeah, the plan is to kind of build all the towns. So that way we can have, like, a big server where people can kind of congregate in certain areas if they so desire. Um, while we're logging into Red Dead, let's go up here and grab some iron ore out of this box. I think it's this one. Nope! This one. And we'll make all the glass molds that we need. Kylie Welp, what is going on? I finally have a cable to my PS4 for internet. I'll actually be useful in Red Dead 2. Next time you play online anyway. Sorry I've been so horrid with the internet problem. No problem, Kylie. I'm glad to see you. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the support. You amazing human you. Now, I know I've got more of those molds somewhere. I actually need to make more sand. Hello, Wildcat. How are you doing today? Let's check our mail. What do we got going on up in here? Uh, oh, we got Tiggle, Biddies, Lakota, Ravik, and Kid Wicked have sent stuff. So we got a little gift, a little something. I'll send more when I get a chance to help out with Valentine. Appreciate watching all of your streams and videos. Makes 10 hours of graveyard shift a little more enjoyable. Former U.S. Army. Nice! 13 Mike. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for your service, Tiggle Biddies. I greatly appreciate it, and thank you for the items. Let's see if we can get this glitch to work. And I hope to see you in the town soon. Okay, so the glitch definitely does not work anymore. Oh. Lakota Ravik, don't cut yourself on this one. He sent us 100 glass, which we desperately needed. So thank you, Lakota. You are amaze balls. And then we got Kid Wicked Howdy. Oh, God. Whoa. Milk a cow? I got nothing. I just wanted to say hi, LOL. And I can't see invites. Oh, my good lord. Let's see if he's on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to social guild options invite player. Kid Wicked. There we go. Let's see if it works this time. Mason Johnson. Hello to you. Thank you so much for the super chat. How are you doing today? I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. To Valentine we go. Where we just literally exploded the town. Made them so very, very unhappy. Um, but we need to go down here. Oh, playing through OBS is such a strange, strange feeling. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Like, I don't have it up on the screen. I'm actually playing... Through OBS, which has the same delay that you guys have. It's crazy. I just want to make sure that I get the dimensions for everything right, so I always like to pop back and forth between the game, both games, so that makes sure that makes sure I get all things right, because words are hard and the struggle is for realsies. I would like to get the, you know, the... That place where we hang people? I forget the name of it for some reason all of a sudden. Because my life is a disaster. <gasps> don't run over. Don't run people over. Don't run people over. Okay. So there is a back to it. There is indeed a back. And just like I thought, right, it's got one window. And then the back, this doesn't have any windows. Okay, we're good. It does have storage in the back, though. We'll have to keep that in mind. There we go. Cycle Cycle, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. YouTube doesn't love me. Skip my super chat. What? 
Ginzu, where's your super chat? Oh, Ginzu PT. Thank you so much for the super chat. I didn't see it pop up. Thank you so much, man. You're a scholar and a gentleman. May the teats and the shell protect you, good sir. Cycle Cycle, welcome to the community, you amazing human you. And Kylie Welp, thank you for the super chat. We'll be doing any online today. I've missed riding with you. Uh, I won't be playing online. The next time we'll be playing online is Tuesday. Tuesday we'll play online again. Gallows! That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Stamp Stamp. You amazing. I'd be so lost without you. I don't know what words I'm trying to say. Been waiting for so long. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder how this is going to look. Um, so I want to do a little test here. Because we do have a sloped roof on this. Oh, no, that's gonna that's not going to work. Uh, I was really hoping it would. Yeah, it's not. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to slope roof this because it's just not going to gonna look like hammered butthole and nobody likes hammered butthole trust me nobody are we making the butcher stand of course of course so we're just gonna standard roof it here oh stupid ceiling bull dookie your mom's a pillar and we'll use her as support what time Tuesday? Late Tuesday? Like the same time stream time. Same, the, just the typical stream time. I usually try and stream the updates, especially if there's content we can actually get. Last week I didn't because the only thing that was added was the, the free roam event, but I can never get free roam events to spawn, so uh, we couldn't do it. We need to put a pole there, a pole there, and a pole here. So lost without you. Bow, 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 bow. Been waiting for so long. <laughs> Ginzu. It was plenty, man. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I think that should be too wide. I think it should be too wide as well. I'm not liking it three wide. Um... But the issue comes down to it's really like two and a half wide in the game. Yeah, it definitely should be two wide. Okay. Yeah, I'll screw it. Okay, let's make it two wide. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Three wide, just a, a little too much. That's what she said. Nerd alert. You mean gangster alert. I wish I could be the, the butcher or general store clerk. I mean, people could come roleplay. The nice thing is you can actually create, like, your own, like, sales and stuff. So if somebody wants to take over a certain thing in Valentine, they are more than welcome to decorate it, actually fill it up and stock it with stuff, because people will actually come in and buy stuff. So just keep that in mind. We've already got uh, Leo is the, the gunsmith. There we go. That looks that looks more better. Been waiting for so long. Boop, boop, and boop. That we go. There we go. That's more better. Stable's looking awesome. Thank you. Options. We gotta turn up the gamma. There we go. Looks like poo, but it's the only thing we can really do. Ha! I'm a poet and you didn't know it. Oh, I gotta make sure I sit up straight. My back is gonna die. If I join the server, can I be the executioner? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. So that's good. I'm gonna put a windmill back here because we don't have like a water tower. And we need storage and stuff back here. The rest of this just needs to be walls to the window to the wall the sweat drips down your balls ow skeet 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 skeet
Boink. And boink. I don't know. So after this, we're going to do the... We're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to do that little house. Let's go to that called horse of, or house of Philia, I guess. This is getting weird. We're going to build the other little house in the general store. Been waiting for so long. Please snap. Thank you. What time will GTA live stream? I have no idea. We need to finish the first live stream before I can know when the next live stream is. We don't know how long this one's going to be. I usually do 30 minutes after the last live stream. Um, but we might do that one a little bit later. I just haven't decided quite yet how it's going to work. So now we need to go boink, boink. Oh, you prick. That would happen to me, wouldn't it? Can I get you from here? No! It's a frickin' tragedy. <laughs> ah! It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to freak out. It, maybe we will. Oh. Oh, it's Kid Wicked. What's Kid Wicked doing? Snappy, please. Oh, my Lanta. What in the friggity frackity effity f... F. What the? Jesus. Well, that was awkward. Hey, Quivis Willow, welcome back, man. I don't know how you have so much patience to do all this. It's because, uh, it's from my ARC days. If you guys didn't know, most of you, probably like 99% of you, uh, have no idea what I used to build in ARC. I built an entire zoo with mutated creatures inside of it. So... Not only did I build all the zoo enclosures, but I also had to breed and mutate all of the creatures to get all of the mutations and stuff, so... A very long process. And that thing was massive. I got a whole series. Oh, I didn't do the thing that I wanted to do. Just a, a massive series on that. Like a hundred episodes or so. Come on. Uh, so I actually really like building stuff. There we go. Beautiful! Now we gotta put all the stalls in. I know what we're gonna use for the stalls. We're gonna use jail cells for the stalls. It sounds... Well, I guess we don't need to. It is built out of wood. Patience master to have accomplished all that in arc. Exactly. Um... So, let's see. We got everything pretty much good. Let's go build a windmill real quick. Horse? That's not my horse. Okay, I was like, what is going on? Who's this over here? We got Sharp Fellow here. All in naked and such. Hello, Sharp Fellow. Was that one that wanted to invite? I think it was. Hold on. I remember getting a message from him, I think. Invite player. There we go. Will you return to Overwatch? A lot has changed. Ah, no. I, I just don't have to type a channel for the, sh the, the shooter games. Them shooter games. Is the windmill in here? There it is. Harness the power of the wind. I have the power. I got like 1,500, 600 hours in arc. I don't even want to know how much I have in arc. Actually, I can tell you. Arc survival evolved. Uh, 3,100 hours. Do it like the bank walls in the interior? That's what I was kind of thinking. I gotta... Um, there we go. I was like, is it broken? This would be really sad. Thank you, Tony. Before your message gets deleted by Nightbot. <laughs> it's a bot. Don't be mad. It's just the uh, the limits that your caps are very limited. Because I don't like caps. This isn't going to turn into a Twitch 
chat stream where you can't actually read shit because all people are doing is spamming caps and emojis like they have Tourette's or something. No offense to anybody who has Tourette's. It's just a joke. <clears throat> I can't place it close enough. I hate the snap points that they have in this game. It's so stupid. There we go. It's not. I just want it right here. Did all your streetlights disappear again? They did. I'm just done placing streetlights for that for now. I guess that looks okay. I don't know. I wanted it more up close to here. Um, let's see. Here. I kind of want to make this look a little bit better. I might put half wall up just to make it look a little bit cleaner, I guess. I think that looks a little bit better. Then we could put signs on it and it'll look just a, just a smidge better. Uh, now we need crafting stations in here. So I need an anvil. We need... Um, a do we want to do a stone forge or do we want to do a brick forge? We should do a brick forge. Um, then we're going to need a saddle stable thingy, Maboober. A metal working station. And a shoehorn bench. So we need leather for that. Ah, crap. All right, we got to go out and get some leather. Nice, Kirk. Congrats, man. Ah, Funky Firefly. I'm glad you enjoy the gameplay. I quite enjoy the game. We're going to creep on Kid Wicked's stupidly giant house over here. Freaking mansion. This is redonkulous. You went freaking ham, dude. He's just chilling at the top. I am the master of my castle. I am the captain now. Good lord, you went ham on that thing. It looks good, man. Am I looking at Red Dead Redemption 2 Valentine while doing this? Of course. Look at this damn thing. It's just gone absolutely crazy. Your horse is trying to follow you inside. Oh. Stupid bear. You ain't gonna get me today. Right, those are stupid little bandits here. Apparently there's bounty hunters in the game now as well. I haven't seen them yet, though. Five hundred likes because people's explosions and shooting. I don't really know if I can. I mean, we do have TNT, but I don't know what I would explode. All right, we just need a little bit more for leather. There's no help. Oh, did they remove the bouncy hunters? I thought they added them. We got the train tracks. Actually, let's see if the train is actually working now. When I logged on yesterday, the train station was completely gone. Like, it was glitched out of existence. It looks like it might... Oh, oh, oh. We got the cargo stuff on the train tracks now, but the station is gone. Oh. Well, the station's back and the train is gone, so that's still broken. Limber legs. <laughs> we got people building all over the place now. We, we got a, quite a bit of people that actually play on the server now, which is pretty cool. Oh, we're approaching the mines, which make the game super laggy. Did we crash? Nope, we didn't crash. Okay. The mines in this game. I, I made it. I wanted to make a specific town for the mines because they just get. They make the area. I got to leave this area. That's just so bad. It's apparently even worse than it was before now. Oh my god. So the mines actually create instances. 
And they add more instances to them, and I think they made everything super duper laggy. Why does it keep saying you're on board? Wait, what? I think that's enough leather that we got anyway. So there's a big house over there. What do we got? Uh, yeah, we got enough for a couple bits of leather. Is there a way to turn off the owned by user? It's really annoying. I, I don't think so. I don't know why it's annoying either. Let's see here. Where's all my fish? I had like 10 billion fish the other day. Valentine's actually looking really freaking good. It's going to look great once we get the rest of the buildings. It's going to start coming together really quick now. Thank you, Bama. All right. Crafting. Um, bleh, shoe hat bench. What is this? A chemistry bench. We do need to make one of those. And the saddle station. Make a wooden skyscraper. Why? I mean, I, I can. You received the message. I've got mail, baby. Anusberg. You want me to make Anusberg? We got a met. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Drungy. Sweet baby Jesus, man. More stuff. Oh, my God. Howdy, caught the recording of the live stream later last night. Enjoyed watching all of the fun of the glitch discovery. Got some more stuff on the way, and another tip I learned in the last few days from a fellow on an official server. Metal troughs auto-feed unlike some of the others, and it takes two to feed and water them. Somewhat reliably for now. Uh, there's some duping stuff with the horses too, and it can be replaced or just remove food in the feed slot. Here is some of the stuff uh, to try that out too. Nice. Uh, also, uh, so, uh, take a look at the fort structures. Some parts might work well, like bigger doors uh, for some stuff. Haven't played with them yet myself, so I don't know. Okay, sweet. Thank you, man. So he brought, he even gave us the saw for the fort structures. Dude, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, we got safes in here. We got wood, rope, bricks. Oh, oh man, dude. We got gold, bullets. Drungy Blapples, man. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you so much. Let's check out these fort structures. That's one thing I haven't messed around with yet either. So what do we got here? Ah. A fort gate. Can we place this here? Oh, this will fit. If it fits, it sits. Oh, but I don't have the actual a gate gate. So we got special walls. Full walls. Fort half spike walls. And we've got um, fort wall half. Huh. That's very cool. We'll have to mess around with that more. I would only recommend this game to you if you enjoy this type of game. If you enjoy open world survival games. If you do not enjoy open world survival games, then I do not recommend it. So we're going to put the troughs, obviously, next to the stables. And that way people can keep their horses in the stables and hopefully keep them alive. We're going to fill one up with water and one up with food. And we also need to create a hitching post here. Hey, virtual basement. What's going on? We're a small team of eight, but we'll continue to work hard and read all the feedback. You guys are doing an amazing job. Um, I got to hand it to you. An absolutely amazing job. Thoroughly enjoying the game. <clears throat> so let's see here. Uh, we've got these here. Now, I believe he gave us a bucket as well. I guess I'll do that. This has come together really nice, though. Stamp, stamp! You're the real MVP. She already brought the water. Stamp, stamp's on point. I got some berries here. So 
So stick those in there. But um, if you like open world survival games, um, you definitely have to like open world survival games to, to like a game like this. Uh, but this is definitely by far one of the best that I've played in a long time. And they've been doing an amazing job. Updates, I think, pretty much every single day. It's been great. Um, I am scared to go in the mines right now, though. I thought I crafted another forge. Did I not? Oh, it's because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do the brick forge or not. <sighs> you know, we'll just do a rig. <sighs> yeah, we'll just do a regular forge. I think it'll look better in here. Just heard that stomach. My stomach is growling too. <laughs> I thought you said you heard my stomach. Actually, I need to grab all the fish. So I got a metal. Oh, Ugh. thank God we can move them. That's another one of the major benefits of this of, of over something like Ark, where if you play something wrong, you have to like destroy it. All of your hard work. And we'll put the um, we'll, we'll put this like here. There we go. Most important thing for us at the moment is uh, Steam reviews, feedback, and people having fun. I'll keep that in mind. I've actually been meaning to do my review, but I don't usually do a review until I get like 100 hours in. That's my my uh, review requirements typically, but I will definitely be leaving a review. And uh, I recommend, if anybody else on the server, because we got quite a few people now, make sure to give it a, a review. Because it definitely deserves it. I think... <sighs> How do I want to place this? I kind of want to place it like this, I guess. I think this is even how it is in the game. I'm not 100% sure. We place you like that. It would be really nice if I had one recommendation. It would be really nice to be able to place things closer to each other. I wonder if I can move it now and get it closer. Ah. Will it place though? Hey! Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I've broken it. It would be nice to be able to, like, originally place things a little bit closer to each other. Like, like this. Ah, there we go. But it's nice that I can place it and then move it and get it closer. That looks so much better now. Beautiful. Alright, so that looks pretty good. We got our troughs going. And let's see if it actually works for the horse now. Does the whistling the horse work now? Where did I even leave my horse? It's gone. Shouldn't the forge be outside? No, no, the forge is inside. We can actually double check here real quick. I'm 99% sure the forge is on the inside. Yeah, there it is. See? Sir. And then we just got to put some storage around. Hey. I wish I had like a saddle rack I could put right there. And we got a grinding wheel outside. Um... But otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty darn close. We can't place any hay bales or anything. But even the chimney is up there, too, which is exactly what we did, so... It's looking pretty close. We'll be adjusting the collisions on Placeable on Tuesday's patch to make it easier, and we're also allowing for all objects to be placed on both ground and foundations. Same with horses. Nice! That's actually really cool. Because I, I wanted to build, like, a really nice bridge uh, for the train tracks going across the water. And then I saw that you can't... Oh! Stab, stab! You're amazing! Thank you for bringing my horse. <laughs> you're the real MVP. Oh, man. That's that's really good to hear. Thank you, man. Or virtual basement. I'd... <laughs> I'm all sorts of lost and confused now. Um, let's see here. Let's turn the gamma back down now that it's daytime. And theoretically, the horse being here should auto-eat and feed out of this. Oh, oh my god. Warren Crumb, thank you so much for the super chat. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you so much. And thank you, Virtual Basement, for joining the live stream. I've been absolutely enjoying the game, and I'm just absolutely, like, really, really surprised at how much it's improved in such a very very short amount of time i mention it all the time 
and live streams and kind of comparing to how I wish other developers would update like early access and betas and stuff like this. So you guys have been doing a phenomenal job and I think it definitely shows like people have been very excited about it. So I know... Wait a second, what's going on here? There we go. I think if we go to here, we can force them to feed, right? Make horse drink. And we'll see if it does it automatically. Yeah, so the patch notes are there. I need to go get fish before I die. And then we need to get the interior of this done. I wish I could put some gates here, but having it open is going to be perfectly fine. Can you get treed in this game, please? No. <laughs> don't make me hit trees. <laughs> Please don't make tree collision. Actually, I kind of want tree collision because Lord knows I'm just going to die all the time to trees. There we go. Fish. Tasty, tasty fish. I'm eating food, Parsa. I'm eating food. Will you be doing any online today? Uh, Kylie, well, uh, no. I already answered that question, though. On Tuesday, I will be. Tuesday, I'll be playing Red Dead Online. And then... Let's see here. Do we got glass. I should probably put some windows on things. Ah! We gotta make some boots. So you guys stop yelling at me for not wearing boots. I've been barefoot for like two weeks now. I think we have to put this upstairs. Let's see some funky loving. Oh no. Are you guys gonna be able to make horses breedable? That'd be kind of cool. To be able to make like a legitimate horse farm. And like buy and sell improved horses. This thing looks awesome! This is... And all these little things are just amazing. Oh, do we have like a stovetop hat? Let's see, we got a Clint hat. A hat to cover your head. <laughs> We've got the top hat. And boots. There we go. Those cowboy boots didn't work yesterday, so let's try these. And then... What did I do with all my cotton? Hey, we got boots. Finally, I won't get yelled at for not wearing boots. Can I jump down here? Yes. I feel hungry when you're hungry in the game. I'm starving in real life, so my character has to represent my real life status. I am so very, very hungry. What have I... What have I eaten today? Oh, I had like a really horribly made grilled cheese because I was... I just woke up and I was like, I need to eat something before. <laughs> so I stuck a piece of bread... In, like, the little, uh, like, tabletop oven and made a grilled cheese that way real quick. So let's do the association hat. Try that bad boy out. You are not showing up as being live, like, on YouTube? What? That's weird. There we go. Now we're looking better. I suppose I should drink some water, though. But I'm also thirsty in real life, so. No more foot splinters from building all the stuff. So we gotta figure out how to make our um, our horse stables on the inside. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with just like log, log walls. Oops, there we go. Because they're not steel. I believe the St. Denis ones are steel, but uh, see, that's a little too high, so we can do half wall. But half wall is going to be a little too low, but it'll look better. There we go. And we'll do a full wall here. Maybe. Maybe. Sure, why not? Cycle, cycle. Been watching for months. Love your commentary. How do I get the... Whoa. The Outlaws of the Old West server. Ever played any Anno games? Ah, oh, yes. I'm actually really, really excited about Anno um, 1800. I tried to get early access to it, but I'm just really bad at getting early access to games. I don't know what it is. But I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> uh, I am really excited about that, but I would recommend... I was actually talking to somebody before I started... Uh, servers require these particular servers and most servers in general require a lot of RAM 
and most server providers do not offer nearly enough RAM to actually make the server run good. Uh, but I use G Portal. Uh, I've been sponsored by them for a while, and I don't recommend them because I'm sponsored. I recommend them because after playing years of Ark Survival Evolved and many other uh, open world survival games, they have literally been the only server providers capable of running the types of servers that I use, like basically like high demand servers, because they offer very high CPU allocation as well as RAM. So if you want a server, I'd recommend going through G Portal. I would not recommend going through anybody else because I was just talking to somebody before this and their server is running absolutely terribly and they were wondering how mine runs so well and they use G Portal. So hopefully that helps. I highly recommend that. Uh, Cycle Cycle, thank you so much for the super chat. And we need to get some more horse related stuff in here as well. Let's see how the horse is doing. Is it, is it, did it eat yet? It's not eating or drinking yet. Okay. You need to build your little friend house. You know, the one that lives in the swamp cabin. No, Ginzu, I will not. I will not. When do you guys go to the bathroom? We don't. We never have to go to the bathroom. There we go. I think this is kind of how it is. And then what I'll do is I'll make a bunch of chemistry bench obtained. Nice, stamp stamp. You amazing. I'll make a bunch of those. I'll put one in each one. That way people can hitch their horses right up to it if they need to. And then... I know we have a grinding wheel outside. The closest thing I have to that... We'll make another saddle station. We'll put it in here. Make another one of these. Two more of those. And we'll do... I think that's all we're going to put in here. That'll be enough. Oh, it's too big. Too too small, rather. Too big? Too small? I don't know. That looks good enough anyways. You also need to build Tubby in big old <laughs> Tick old Biddy's house? Oh, I will. Trust me, I will. Sooner or later. We've got to finish Valentine first. Really trying to push towards getting this done today. So I guess what we could do is we could put those throughout the town because we need a lot more of them anyways. I'm over encumbered. What? How did this atrocity happen? Want to do some more content for Monster Hunter? Uh, I will be once Iceborne comes out. There we go. Put a bench in here. Because there is stuff on the interior. Make it look a little bit better. There we go. We'll put one outside. Actually, I can't put one outside yet. Put it in here for now. You guys are stealing that's what she said jokes from me. Man, that's my job. All right. So that is pretty much done. That's about as good as we can get right now with the building materials that we have. But I think it looks pretty damn good. I mean, even the placement of the, the forge is pretty much on point with um, with Red Dead Redemption 2. So now we got to build these two little houses here and then the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Do you have a Patreon? I do. Patreon is, link is in the description. And Patreons also get access to all my servers as well. So not only access to this particular server, but to all the other ones I host as well. Uh, so let's pop over back to Red Dead and we'll make sure we get the rest of the stuff right. We also need to figure out exactly how large the hotel is. We'll get the, the floor plan made for the hotel. So that's set up right. We've got that going. We've got that right. So now there is a two gap, and this goes all the way around. And then the hotel itself is going to be one, two, three, four wide, but three there. And then over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, Jesus, this is the biggest building. This is the biggest building in Valentine. Tanya D, thank you so much for the super chat. 
You are amazing. Thank you so much. So go how is this gonna work? Actually, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Starting to count more whorehouses than churches. So six long by three wide. With a porch that goes all the way around. Hello, okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Bungalist. Good job. Good job. Alright, so... Uh, boo, 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 boo. Let's go like this. Like that. Get rid of this bad boy. Boink! Now this needs to go way far back. One, two... So um, this is going to be four wide, but the main building is only three wide. So one, it's going to start here. So that's one, two, three, four. So main building is going to be there. And then the rest of the porch goes this way. Oh, just, just punch in the air like a pro. Now this is kind of a little too high, but... We're just going to have to deal with it, I think. I could lower it if I really wanted to. But I don't think I will. Yeah, cause it's just not, not going to look right in the front. Am I out of... What am I out of? I am out of stone and wood. We should use fancy flooring on the interior of this, though. Because it is a fancier building. We'll probably end up doing that as well. For the corners of the porch, you should use two triangle foundations so the direction of the wood planks changes more naturally. I'm too OCD. I could. We can see how that looks. I don't know. I've never... I haven't actually used the triangle bits yet. They don't fit together good enough. They don't actually work. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look better, either. It snaps lower. What? That's weird. It would make everything off. Ah! No! It would actually make everything a half a wall farther than it needs to be. Because they did the weird half... Um, the triangles don't actually meet. It's one of my pet peeves with a lot of these building games. Um... The triangle structures should actually span the gap. So that way everything can actually be built properly. The only building thing that I've ever seen do it right is the Castles, Forts, and Keeps mod for Red Dead or for, for Red Dead Redemption 2. For Ark Survival Evolved. Because that makes building with triangular structures significantly better. Um, but we could try and see what it looks like. But it's going to make it... If it's like every other building thing that I've ever seen, it's going to make it a half a thing longer than it needs to be. Does that make sense? I'll show you. Let's just do that one. Okay, so... Gimpy Hands! Welcome back, man! How you doing today? Uh, yeah, and then for me to actually continue this, I would need to do... It just wouldn't line up right. I would need to basically use triangular structures all the way across, which is not what we want. It would just be a mess. You can use the triangle pieces to make circles. I could. Yes, I could. There we go. Root and Toot and James Bay is back. I've made quite a few circular structures in Ark. Well, I'm over encumbered. So I know he sent wood. Did he? Wood. Bam. Saint Denis is going to be a nightmare to build. I have no idea if I'll actually be able to achieve it, but I will try my best. I know I said we we're going to do fancier wood floors, but I don't think we are. Let's keep up with the same theme. 
cost is just insane. Ugh, I did it again. Hyrulean Bum! Shout out to my son Link, who loves this game. Link, I'm glad you enjoy the game. And thank you so much, Hyrulean Bum, for the super chat. You're a scholar and a gentleman. And I hope you and your son enjoy the live stream. Does anyone wear clothes in this game? No. When you log on, it automatically strips you naked, and I often forget to re-equip my clothes. So let's see here. We had the one... I think we decided on seven, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Son of a beached whale. Um, six and seven. Now, the question being, is it as long as the bank? If it's not as long as the bank, we need to make it longer. <clears throat> oh, I guess it is pretty much the same size as the bank. Okay. It is technically one square longer than the... Ah, you know what? It's so close to being the same size as the bank. We're just going to leave it the same size as the bank. All right, so I guess my guesstimates there were pretty accurate. Okay. Mister. I don't know if I'll be able to do the triangle roofs, uh, but we're going to try and replicate that as well. Beef, pork, Come on medicine, now. Get all right. My guesstimates aren't so terrible after all. Better than Ark? I mean, it depends on what you, what you like. If you like taming and breeding animals, then Ark is obviously going to be the better choice. Uh, but if you want something that's survival... Like a building survival game that's different. This has so much stuff in it. It's kind of awesome. It's kind of crazy, which is awesome. Like bounty hunting, a legitimately working mail system. There's so many amazing things in this game. Ah, yes. Ladders, man. Ladders would be very nice. All right, so we've got pretty much this built to the size it needs to be. I kind of feel like I should have made the fancier floors. We'll do fancy ceilings and stuff, though. Was that my last? No! Nah! What am I short on now? Am I short on stone again? Yeah. The gimpy hands. Thank you so much for the super chat. Gimpy hands are hurting. Teats and shell protection requested. Nice crossover streams. Red Dead Redemption 2 and <laughs> Outlaws of the Old West. All the best to you and the entire tag fam. Gimpy hands, thank you so much for the super chat. And may the teats and the shell protect your poor hands. What is going on with the temperature? It is getting cold, baby. It's getting cold. Gonna die. It's getting cold. Thank God I got clothes on for once. Gimpy hands, thank you so much. Glad to see you here. And may the teats in the shell protect your hands from the gimpness. There we go. That's a little less disasterific. Just going to be permanently encumbered during this stream. Let's get our graphics back to where they need to be for nighttime. Have you checked out Satisfactory? I did. I live streamed that when it released, and I absolutely love it. Although it is unfortunately one of those things that won't perform daily on the channel. And I, I just have to be very careful, especially with Red Dead Redemption slowing down on what I release. Um, please. Please. There we go. There we go. So much better. Now, I have to just double check one thing before we continue. Does this porch go all the way around? No, it turns into stairs. And then we have a back end shenaniganry. But it does go around on this side. We've got a door there. Can we walk through this door? No, we can't. What is in there? That must be like the little bathhouse. We creep in there? What is wrong with you? 
Shut up! What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I like to be weird. What the hell is in there? I want to know. I want to know right meow. Okay. So this comes in... Like that. Like that. Yeah. Something like that. Did you ever finish Red Dead Redemption 1 on your channel? Not yet. We will. We will. Alright, so we've got that. Do we want to build the hotel first, or do we want to build the general store and the other little building? Did you ever finish Red Dead Redemption 2? Of course. I'm on, almost on my second completion of it. I'm going to check on the horses, make sure they're actually eating and drinking and stuff. They're not still. Maybe they only do it at a certain level of thirst and hunger. Alright, so let's get the front of this built. Will there be any Red Dead uploads today? Um, no. On Sundays, we kind of just live stream. I test, uh, I test around once in a while on whether or not to um, release videos with live stream. I wish I had larger windows, but I don't. Like those, those long, tall windows would be really nice to have for like a decoration aspect. All right, we need a different tool now. East one. We need a doorway here in the middle, and then a window from the windows to the walls till the sweat drips down your horse. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. What's my favorite game? I don't really have favorite games. I just play games that I enjoy. I can't really say, I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 probably if I had to choose, would be my favorite game. If I absolutely had to choose. Having fun with Sekiro. I was. I am. I'm really, really, really bad at it, though. Like, painfully bad. Can you stack the windows? No. It wouldn't look right. I mean, I could, but you can. You, you see what we got going on here. Um... So obviously this is going to be good. I believe this is all just walls going across. So we can go ahead and place those bad boys. Now we can use interior walls going across. Is there? We gotta go inside the, the freaking building. I don't even know what's what over here. I've never looked to the left, really. I feel like there's a door somewhere. Hello! Breaking in like the Kool-Aid man. Uh, so we've got... I want to say two wide, and then a door that goes through here. And then we don't have another door until the very end. Right? And Gimpy Hands, thank you so much for becoming a member, by the way. So we've got a door back here. And that's the bath. There's one door... This is the, uh, um, the legendary panther pelt. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We do that, and then we have a doorway, so we'll use the interior doorway. It seems a little claustrophobic, doesn't it? It definitely looks like it's only, like... I guess it is kind of claustrophobic in here, isn't it? And it's definitely not large. That's what she said. Ha! Got her. Um... Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna have to go with it. We're gonna have to roll with it. It'll be good. It'll look good when we're done. Whew. Jonathan, afternoon's going very well. How's yours going? And then this goes to doorway right here. 
It's gonna be one small bath. Is what it is, though. Is what it is. The scaling can't be perfect, unfortunately. But we try our best. There we go. That's good, that's good. And we got the stairway here. The stairway to heaven. Now, can we actually use... I have not found... Wait a second. I've not found a good spot for this. Hmm, still not gonna work. Darn. I mean, I could do that, I guess, but the stairs go up a different way. Actually. Wait a tick. I'm gonna place it. No, it doesn't work, because the stairs go up and then up that way, right? Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. Darn. Never could find a good spot for those darn stairs. Yeah, because they go up. They look so nice, and I want to be able to use them. But it goes up like that. Yep, so those aren't going to work. Okay. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I, yeah, I definitely, I don't know what I did to Valentine, but I definitely did something bad there. I don't quite remember what I did. But something, well, I did just murder Valentine in the live stream earlier, too. Wait, why can't I, what the crap? Do I, I know I have planks and iron bar. JK, I don't. I'm a liar. And which time are you referring to? He always, <laughs> yeah, I did just destroy Valentine again. Um, I don't know. Planks. I was really hoping I could get that glitch to work again. <laughs> I'm so bad. Right, we've got to figure out how to get these stairs to work. So if we decide to use stairs here, how is that going to look? We don't really have a choice. God, the stairs are inhumanly large. All right, we just gotta we gotta roll with it. Um, ba -na -na -na, boo, 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 boo. Oh, what is what in tarnation? Oh, I can't snap it to a floor. That's unfortunate. Wait, what? Really? Hmm. Seems odd. Maybe if I put a, a floor bit in here. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to make the stairs go the way we want anyways. Now that I think about it. Do you like fish sticks in your mouth? Who doesn't like fish sticks in their mouth? What the crap? Oh, I need a pillar or a wall. Well, we're gonna have that in a second. Oh, these snap weird. There's like little gaps in them. Oh, there's like little gaps in the wall. What the hell? That's going to drive me crazy. Okay, eh, we'll figure it out. Right, now, I know I've got a, a window here. And we're definitely going to put a wall there. And I think there's another window down at the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to move my, my stuff over to the blacksmith. I just kind of have that extra building there while I'm building other things. Oops, wrong controller. I have, like, so many different controllers on my desk. It's a bloody nightmare. This is on PC, yes. All right, then. All right, so we don't have another wall or another window until there. Can I pause so I can just kind of have that there? Perfect. Okay, now to figure tape this out. So we're going to have a window up here. That's a door. Good job, Tag. 
you know how to live your life so good such a disaster and then we have two window oh yeah okay um boop and then a window and then down here is a window and the rest of this is just going to be walls like so window wall and then a window uh something's wrong with our dimensions but it will have to do yeah that'll have to do it's not quite right what i should do actually is this make it look a little bit better boink 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 uh, wall and then we'll turn this one into the window And then that into the window, and then a window here. We out of stuff already? Oh my god. Oh my god. We are. Sarah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And thank you guys for coming to hang out with me. I know watching stuff be built isn't always the most entertaining thing in the world, uh, but I greatly appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. It really means a lot. I got iron bars, baby. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to grab some more planks. But you can see, just imagine if I didn't have to, like, how much farming is involved for all of this. Just so much. So thank you to everybody who's pitched in and helped out. You guys have made my life significantly easier. And then that glitch yesterday is really the saving grace. Ah, uh, Morgan Earp, you have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. May the teats in the shell protect you. Whoa. Wall. There we go. That looks uh, a wee bit better. And then I think for this, we'll do a little bit of the. Uh, that's the wrong one. This one. There we go. And I'm just gonna pop over and make sure we get the windows and stuff on this side right. Hope to guys they don't plague you like they did Armadildo. Poor Armadildo. Always getting the plague. Alright, so we've got a wall, window. How many windows do we have? We got three windows. We're just gonna have to space them out appropriately. To the window, to the wall. Actually, we're gonna have to wait on the ceiling. We have three windows. Could that be one? Two and then three? Yes. Two and three. <sighs> oh god. And then I think we had a door back here, right? A door and a window? No, we just had windows back here. None of this was a door. We had windows back here. And then walls. Boop and boop. Then we gotta check the back end. Giggity? Check the back end? That's a giggity moment, I think. Is this roof sloped? It is very slightly sloped. Very, very slightly. Oh, there was a window over here. Damn, there's a window there. How are we gonna figure tape this out? This is such a weird. There's a door up there. Where does that door even go? Oh, it's to the end of the walkway for the for the rooms. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got this. We're professionals. Oh my god. Okay. 
I forgot to look at what windows were up here. <laughs> Next, you should build Saint Denis. I think Saint Denis is going to have to wait. Although that can be built with all brick, I suppose, but still, sweet baby Jesus. Saint Denis is going to be like months and months and months of work. Saint Denis is going to be no small feat. So we do have windows. We got one, two, three windows again on this side. And we got a window and a door here. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wait a sec. Okay, yeah. We got this. So, window. Wall. Door. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now we can actually get the porch bit added. Three. Then we have a turn. Oh. Bad tag is bad. And then we have the stairs. Strawberry? I do want to build strawberry next. I think it'll look really good, especially with the building materials that we have. Saint Denis, we don't really have the best building materials to make that look good. Um, but strawberry, we can definitely do. Roads, we can definitely do. I don't think we're going to have an issue with either of those. Son of a... Why does it do that? Oh, it's so frustrating. And then the windows are going to be placed exactly the same. In fact, recreate the entire map of the Red Dead Redemption 2. That's kind of the plan, honestly. Oh, why do you vex me so? I also just realized some of these are placed wrong. That's infuriating. Okay. I don't even know how that happened. Obviously, I jacked up, but still. Why is bad tag so bad? Also, that's bad. Um, roof ceiling things. Place the doors wrong here. So this should be blink. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hmm. Unfortunately, yeah, we're going to have to go with just flat roof here. I wish there was like a quarter pitched roof. That would look so good. Like a quarter pitch would be ideal right now. But. This is what it is. What the crap? That's weird. Okay, I've never noticed that before. I wonder how jacked up my roofs look. Without the directions all being the same. I bet my roofs are so messed up in some areas. To be honest, I think Blackwater being so close to the architecture of St. Denis would be... A best test of how it would turn out. You're right. You're right. That would be a good test. Building St. Denis would definitely absolutely take a community effort. I I wasn't even sure if I'd be able to do Valentine on my own, but we've been doing a pretty good job so far. But then again, we've had a lot of help the past couple days as well, which has been phenomenal. Alright, so I can't believe this one room is so small in here. Okay. And then there should be a doorway out here. Doorway here. And then I guess there's two windows, huh? Interesting. Now we gotta go inside and make sure we get the placement of the doors correct for the for the rooms. We gotta find somebody to roleplay the constipated man as well. So when we go out this way. There's one little room here. Now, does it go all the way back? It does. Interesting. I wonder if we can get up the stairs still with having that room there. Um, 
maybe what I need to do is set the... Let's see what happens if I put a ceiling here. You know what? I wonder if we can make the other stairs work. I know it's not going to look perfect. If I can get the other stairs to work, it's going to be so much better. I wish we just had a different, like, version of this. Like, one that came out. Like, having a second set of stairs, a second type where they came straight down, I'd be able to do this. But without it... Like, that's my options. Is there, like, a queue or anything? I just wish there was a different type. Then we'd be done. But I need to place it this way. <sighs> Man. Alright. Now if we do this... I placed that one wrong. Son of a beached whale. I just caught my brother watching Tiny Human's channel. Tiny Human's channel is the best! He's gonna take over my channel one day. Guaranteed. Yeah, I think that's going to look better. We'll just have to kind of... Uh, but then... And we'll make it work. One way or another, we'll make it work. Okay. Oops, wrong controller again. We'll see if it works when we go up this way. I think it will work. So we need two rooms. We got two doors. And when we go into this one, son of a bitch. We need to rent a room. I just think that's going to encroach upon the other room. Technically, we need like half stairs. Uh, let's see here. Hotel owner. I'd like a room. All right. Room's all yours. Head on up. Blech. So how many windows do we have in this one? You know, it's obviously too long. So we have one window. So this is like a one by two. I'm so tired. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Does that mean this is bigger? Hmm. So I guess... Well, oops. I meant to click that back. What we'll do is this. Yeah, so this... Ah, see, this is what I was worried about. Because we could make it a one by... Which would be ridiculous. This is how it really needs to be, is like this. What the... Screw you, game. Which means if we have the stairs here, it's not going to work. Because this needs to be a wall. Whoops. Maybe one of the other stairs face the right way? Nope, they're all the same. Okay, we're just gonna do something else then. Ugh, this is unfortunate. Oh god. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> All right, screw those stairs. It's just not meant to be. All right, 
We'll just have to change it up a little bit, that's all. I'd rather have the two big rooms that are actually accessible in the game a look right than, than have the front room not right. Place, please. Me love you long time. Sucky, sucky, five dollar. I don't know why it does this. Okay. Yeah, that'll just have to do. I'm thirsty and hungry again. that fixes that issue. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's all ziggy zaggy. Fine, I will put a freaking pillar down there. Damn it, game. You and your stupid pillars. Oppressed by pillars. There we go. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Now we're done except for that one wall bit. The one wall vexing me. And the fact that we can't go down the stairs. Slate issues. I need a pillar right there. No! Out of planks again. Man, this one is expensive. It's looking good, though. All things considered, we just got to put the porch around it. Uh, planks are in here. We'll grab some more iron bars while we're in here. This is this is. I knew this was going to be the most expensive building in the game. Which is why I was kind of saving it for last. Now, one thing we do need to do, add this bit. There we go. And we can obviously add the railings in a moment. This needs to be different stairs. All right. Whew. And then we don't want windows on there, so we'll have to use different doors for this. Um, It'll be a funky sized room, but better than nothing. Good enough for government work, they say. There you go. Looks like the hotel. What do you guys think so far? And then for the railings out here. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, 
Bah. You and your pillars. I do need them to make it actually look real. Anyways. Boink. 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 I thought I placed that one in the sky for a second. I was like, oh my god. We'll do one there, one there. There and there. Beautiful. I just need a butcher. What? Snap. Thank you. I wish I could have like uh, railings on the stairways too. That'd be nice. You fix the roof tiles. They look majestic. They're perfect. It's meant to keep water on them. Ah! Ah, humbug. I can't get out. I'm stuck. Wait a second. Isn't there supposed to be a door? But maybe there isn't. I'm so confused. Fix the roof, please. Everybody's freaking out about the roof. I'm going to die of hunger and thirst when everybody's freaking out about the roof. Maybe I'll put a fancier roof on this thing. I haven't used the fancy roof yet. I'm so lost without you. I know I was wrong. i waiting for so long. I can't even tell which way the roof goes for that one. We'll just use the other roof. I'll make the roof even more crazy now. Craziest roof you ever seen. Put all sideways and stuff. Alright, we gotta... Definitely need to... Get a new style of roof. Hey, you're right. I think there is one door at the back that I did miss. Let's uh, double check here real quick. The placement of said roof. Or door, rather. Sir, you'll need to wash up a bit if you want to Put common you toast crunch here. on your PB&J. Common toast? Why is it gotta be common toast? Why can't it be fancy toast? Oh, there is no door back here. All right, it is just a window, and f and then we got uh, one, two, bill, two. <laughs> Interesting. Intriguing. That sticks a fish in my mouth. Ah! Oh, crap. Stupid wolf. How dare you? I'm going to eat your body now. Thank you for sacrificing your body to the greater good. Where'd all my fish go? There it is. Dude, I think the roof in Red Dead is backwards. <laughs> Watch it be backwards. But I'll have to do it on purpose. Hold on. I can only do so much, Trey. I can only do so much. At a time, you know? You know? Hold on to your pantalones. We will get there. You gotta build one building at a time. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, your mom's a door. Boop. Um. Because everybody wants in. Giggity! Oh, we did it! <clears throat> bath time, bath time. Take a bath. It's so confusing. Why is the bathroom so big? I should have shot it in the brown star, huh? Sweet baby Jesus, that is one big-ass building. It looks good. 
Then the butcher area is going to go right here. I mean, Valentine, man. It's looking like Valentine. I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. Yeah. Now I gotta figure out how the stupid roof is made. What's your roof look like, boy? Is there bathtubs in the game? I don't think there is, unfortunately. Right, so we got the thing that goes all the way across. So the roof is pitched with a flat front. But it does peak in the middle. Okay. All right, we can do this. We got this. We're professionals. I mean, look at that. The point of view is different, but... I don't know if we'll be able to make the roof exactly the same, but we'll try. Oh, uh, you know what I should have done? Well, actually, they haven't added it yet. We definitely need... Uh, the finished wood facade with the doorways and windows because I can't use the finished wood facade unless I do like half walls all the way across. Which I mean I could do if I wanted to. It would definitely make it look better. But I'd like to be able to have it with the windows and doorways so I didn't have to waste resources. Hmm. Do we want to do the facade halfway, half ceiling, and then do the roof? Or do we want to just do the roof? I can put some up so you can see what it looks like. And then do the roof from there. The issue is, I don't think I can place... Oh, no, I can't do the half the facade, because I need to... I still need to do all the triangle bits. I can do... Okay. I can do the facade on this side, though. But it will still... It won't work right. Or will it? Where there's a will, there's a way. We'll figure it out. It does look better. Makes it a little bit taller, which it needs to be anyways. Um, boink. 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 And boink. That side looks so good. So good! I think we will use the fancy ceiling for this bit here, since it's the interior of the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Half sloped roof. Will roofs not snap to the facade? What the fuck? Really? Really? You gonna do me like this? They won't snap to the facade. What the, what the frick is the point of the facade? Eat my ass. Hold on. We're going to have to put ceilings on it now, I think. I think it has a ceiling anyways. Like, you can't actually see. It does have a ceiling anyways, I think. It does. Okay. So we got to put a ceiling on it anyway, so then we can snap the stuff to the ceiling. Sweet baby Jesus. I knew this was going to be the most expensive building to make. Oh, crap, we're out of iron bars again already. Ollie Bowler, thank you so much for the support. But I still... Um, my face is, um, uh, do 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 do. Shimmer rinky dinky dink, shimmer rinky do. What the hell? Uh, Ollie Baller, thank you so much for the super chat. 
Yeah, so it can't snap to the facade. That's what the point is the fa <sighs> What is the point of the facade if I can't snappy the bits to it? Yeah. That's stupid! I'm so hungry. Can't deal with this. Boop! Alright, now we need to make a stupid stairway. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, we need, uh, we need more stuff first. Who knew the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn would be such a bloody nightmare? Me. If it weren't for that glitch, this, ho this hotel would have taken me probably 15 hours to make. I think that's not even an exaggeration. That might be an underestimate. An underestimate? Shimmerinky dinky dink. Shimmerinky doo. I hate ceilings. Pretty boy 23, welcome back, man. And thank you so much for the support. I was going to verify that I can, in fact, not snap anything to that. Ah, uh, okay. Goodbye. Farewell. And thanks for all the fish. Shingles are placed the right way this time. I was like, it'd be really weird if they weren't. Boop. Eh. Eh. I'm stuck. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's do this then. Oh, don't F me like this game. Don't you even do it. I'm not in the mood to be effed. You gotta at least take me out to dinner first. At the very least. Like Taco Bell would suffice. Oh, you are going to F me. Why? Why? Give me one good reason why you should F me right now. When am I going to release the second part of John and Hamish? Um, I wanted to release it today, but then we ended up just... I woke up very late. I was supposed to have released it early this morning, and I um, didn't wake up until 11.30. Ah! My sledgehammer broke. world's worst luck i'm assuming the church is not possible we're gonna build the church it might not look great but we're gonna build it it probably it's definitely not gonna look great with what we got to build with but it will be better than nothing eh. oh we did it oh you could suck my butt okay um what else can we do here what the f why is nothing snapping? What the f Damn it. Is 
swear to God, if it doesn't snap to this. I'm going to shit everywhere. This is stupid. What the fuck is going on? I'm at a loss. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I had a similar issue with the... You can see how I had to build that over there. But this, I've never had an issue with a three-wide before. Three-wides always work. It shouldn't be support. There's literally support everywhere. The issue should not be support. Because, look, look at all the support. It's all right there. We might have to just take a pause on this. Because I don't know what's going on. Like on this specific build. Because it definitely should not be happening. I think maybe I'll just have to... Maybe I can snap. No, of course not. It's not even letting me snap to that, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know the roof's pitched differently, but I've never had issues with it before. So I can place stuff there. And I can place that fine. Take a place. What is this? Oh, fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to finagle something here. We already did the gable, the gable roof piece. Um... Let's see here, I need another sledgehammer. We'll figure it out. That's just some little thing that we gotta do. Maybe it does need some kind of weird structural support. I'm just gonna put a couple pillars down here. And maybe it'll fix the issue. Like I'll pillar it all the way to the top bit. Like that. I'll just add a couple of those. Maybe that'll add some kind of weird structural necessary support. top as well. Sometimes weird things like this helps. I don't know. If that doesn't do it, I'm at a loss. But the half height, because I uh, all of my buildings, I've done it with the half height and it's, and it's worked. But it's the fact that I can't even place a flat roof is the issue. But it would typically say that it needs support. Whoops. Whoops. Like, I can't place a ceiling. And I can't place a roof. It's just like, nah. Screw you. sense. I'm thinking like maybe I hit structure limit, but then I wouldn't be able to build all the, all the other weird stuff on it. Now I can build off of this. What the f Maybe I hit structure limit. I didn't even know there was a structure limit. All right, 
right, so that's still not working, but let's do sloped half roof. And then sloped half roof. Okay, try the full roof, but I don't think it's going to work. Watch it work. No, oh, oh, it did work for this one. It doesn't look good. Maybe the sloped half roofs will work. Half roofs will work. Maybe the the other tier is just broken. This will confirm it. But I've never had an issue with the slab, blah, sloped half roofs before. Like all of those are sloped half roofs and they have the gable pieces like that one right there. That one's the exact same roof that we're trying to build. Yeah, I guess the sloped half roofs just aren't working for this build for some reason. But this one is literally the same thing. Like that one right there, that's the sloped half roof with the, the gable bit. Literally the exact same thing. Maybe the gable was placed wrong. It did seem like it was snapped weird. I guess that's just the way it looks. It looks like hammered ass on the inside. It's like at a offset for some reason. Now the real question is, why can I not snap anything to the... Like, I should be able to just do, like, a... a thing. Like, up there. But I guess you can't snap to half walls? Doesn't make any sense either. And that's saying it's... orange. Something's wrong here. I don't know what it is. But saying it's orange... Like, I can't snap to it for some reason. Cannot item need support. Consider a pillar or wall underneath. I just pillared it. it. Says it there. Now it says it. Okay. It'll, it'll snap that way. What the fuck? There's plenty of pillars. Because I wouldn't have been able to build the lower part of the roof. What the fuck? Okay, we're just gonna have to pillar stuff. Now it's apparently it's not recognizing the pillars or the the walls underneath. So we need to pillar more pillars. Pillar more pillars. We just did. So we got a pillar there and a pillar there which should give us the foundational support it's asking for. Maybe more pillars. More pillars, more better, they say. Can't tell me I don't have pillars now. Game. Pillar you to next Tuesday. F on me, I'll put pillars everywhere. It cannot say there's not pillar support now. It's simply, there are pillars literally everywhere. See the pillars. You can be the pillars. 
Oh my god. More pillars. Oh, there we go. We can give you some pillars. Take them, take my pillars. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, it's letting me go this way now. Oh, because there's pillars there. Gotta hate you, game. Only today. Every other time I love you, game. But today, you have made Tag angry. Such a beautiful house, but I can't put a roof on. This isn't where it's supposed to go. It's not right. <laughs> ah. You're a pillar. Put a pillar in your mouth. Fine, screw it. Just to get this done. Just to get her did. We'll make the roof wrong. We'll make it look like hammered ass. With this giant ass roof. The roof from hell. And we'll be done with it. Call it a day. The front is not going to look right, but we're just going to have to live with it. I'm not pleased. Half pillars would be nice. Like, why even put half walls in the game if you're not going to allow them to be used properly? Eh. This is gonna look bad, and I don't care. Boop. Boop. Actually, you know what? It might not look that bad. Those random pillars everywhere do, though. <laughs> oh, can I hit just the pillar? Please, just the pillar. Hey, we did it. I'm not gonna do that one. That one's just gonna live there now. Hey, Mariah, how are you doing today? If I do this, will everything explode? Shit. <laughs> well, I answered that question. <laughs> oh, kill me. Oh, that's right. Stupid wall. Please make things snappable to the top of facades. Please. I beg you. Building with them is impossible without it.
half right, full right. Ta-da! Victory is almost ours. We did it! It doesn't look right, but we did it. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. All right, it's done. It is complete. It doesn't look that bad in the front, honestly. You know, I'm not... It's not perfect. Uh, but it's, it's not bad either, so... I could be happy with that. Tag is pleased. It looks like the Valentine Hotel, at least. And yes, this is the hotel. Sweet baby beluga whale. The hotel is done. Valentine, the main strip of Valentine is almost done. We've got to make the butcher's area. We got the, um, that done. We still need fencing. Fencing we definitely need in the game. We've got two more little buildings here. Then the church and the small little buildings that go that way and that way. And then obviously the big livery area. Whoa, okay. I need a break. We've done four straight hours of live streaming. Oh, God. I'm dying. I need to stretch. I hope you guys all enjoyed the live stream. We're going to be doing some uh, Grand Theft Auto V later today. Aubrey Jean, hallelujah. Free last. We finished the hotel, motel, holiday inn. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are amazing. I hope you all have a great night. We will be live streaming. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it. I'll put an event. Um, I need like probably like an hour. Well, maybe we'll do like 7 p.m. Eastern. I feel like that'll be okay. 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Whew. I'll take a little bit of a nap. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great night. We'll see you all in the next one.